In today's lesson, we're going to learn all of the key phrases you need to know to go shopping in English. Let's go. In today's lesson, we are going to focus on shopping. You're going to learn so many great English phrases to help you when you go shopping. And we're also going to practice speaking. We're going to have some English conversations. First, I'll show you an example conversation, and then you get to try and have a conversation with me. All right, let's go. Okay, so before we get into the conversation, let's go over some key phrases, some questions and some statements that you might need to use or that the shop clerk might ask you. All right, so one of the very first things that a shop clerk, when you walk into a clothing store, one of the first things that the clerk will say is, Hello, can I help you find anything? Hello, can I help you find anything? So here, they want to help you. They're, if you're looking for something, that's what they're asking. They want to know what you're looking for so they can help you. Now, when you get asked this question as a customer, now it's your turn to speak. As a customer, you basically can answer in two ways. One, you can say, I know I'm just looking. No, I'm just looking. This means you don't want any help and you'll take care of yourself. But the other answer is, yes, I'm looking for, and then you tell them what you're looking for. So for example, yes, I'm looking for a sweater or yes, I'm looking for some jeans, All right? So in this answer, you want their help. You want them to help you find something. Another great question that you might want to ask is regarding colors. So you might want to know what colors the different clothing or the shoes come in. So we have two ways to ask this. One could be, what colors do they come in? What colors do they come in? Or if it's a singular item, you could say, what colors does it come in? What colors does it come in? So I want to know all of the color options with this question. Now, maybe I want to ask a specific question about colors or maybe about size, then I can ask, do you have them in red? Or do you have them in a medium? So do you have them, and then you add your size or your color here. So do you have them in red? Or do you have them in large? Now, of course, we could also make it singular. So I could say, do you have it? Do you have it in red? Do you have it in small? All right, so this is a great question to ask if you want a specific color or a specific size. Now, of course, you can't buy anything without trying it on. At least I don't. I always try everything on. I want to make sure that it fits me properly. So, Two great questions you can ask the next time you go shopping, depending if it's a singular or plural item, you could say, can I try them on? Can I try them on? Or if it's singular, can I try it on? Can I try it on? And another and the last phrase that I'll go over today is when you decide to buy something, a lot of times the store clerk will say to you, let me ring you up. Let me ring you up. Now this means they will go to the cashier. They will put your item into the cashier and tell you how much 
you have to pay. So if they're going to go through this process, they'll tell you, let me ring you up. Now, these are not all of the phrases that you will hear or that you need to ask when you go shopping, but I think these are probably the most important and the most useful. So if you can remember all of these phrases, you'll, you'll have a breeze the next time you go shopping. So next, let's go over a sample conversation. You're going to hear a conversation. And in this conversation, I will read one half and you will read the other half. I'll read black, you read red. So let's practice our speaking and our fluency next. And after we practice this speaking, after you listen and you read along with me, the final conversation will be between you and I. This is where you can use all of the phrases we just learned in a conversation. But first, let's do the first one. I'll read black, you read red. Hi there, welcome to Trendy Threads. Can I help you find anything? No problem, you're in good hands. Our new fall collection just hit the shelves and it's flying off the racks. Is there anything specific you're looking for? Got it. Our cashmere sweaters are selling like hotcakes. They're soft, warm, and super comfy. Let me grab you one. We've got a bunch of options, but I'd suggest the navy. It's really versatile and you can't go wrong with it. Plus, it'll pair nicely with jeans. Speaking of which, what style were you thinking for the jeans? Something classic? Smart choice. The straight leg jeans are a big hit. Let me find your size. Sure, the fitting room is this way. How's everything fitting? I'll check in the back. Hang tight for a minute. Here you go. These should be a better fit. Give them a try. Glad to hear it. Anything else you need today? My pleasure. Let's get you checked out. Oh, and just so you know, if you sign up for our loyalty program, you can get 10% off today's purchase. It's a no-brainer. Awesome. I'll ring you up and get you on your way. Thanks for shopping with us today. I hope to see you soon. Okay, so how did you do? Were you able to speak along with me? Were you able to keep up with the pace, with my speed? If you had trouble, then you can always rewind and try it again. Now we use all of the phrases that we learned at the beginning of this video. And next, you will get a chance to practice these phrases by having a conversation with me. So in the next part of this lesson, 
I am going to be the shop clerk. You are the shopper. I'm going to say my part of the sentence and I'll give you a little bit of information and I want you to complete the other side. So I want you to imagine you're shopping. You've come to my store. I'm here to help you. All right, you're gonna be looking for maybe a sweater and there's gonna be information on the screen. Use that information and come shopping with me. All right, let's try. Hello, welcome to Trendy Threads. Can I help you find anything today? Got it. We just got some cashmere sweaters in today. Let me grab you one. Oh, we have them in a bunch of colors, but I recommend the navy. It'll go with everything. Sure, the fitting room is just this way. Okay, so how did you do? Were you able to go shopping with me? Were you able to make the sentences and use the sentences from the conversation and from the beginning of the lesson? Hopefully you could. But if you couldn't, that's okay. Rewind, rewatch the key phrases, redo the conversation practice and try this again. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Now we're not done because there were a lot of idioms in the conversation. So let's go over five idioms right now. Number one. Leaning toward, leaning toward. In the conversation, you said, I'm leaning toward something classic. Now, leaning toward means that you are interested in something. You favor something. You will most likely choose something. So you're leaning toward the classic genes. That means you'll probably choose the classic jeans. Number two, selling like hotcakes. Now I said, as the shop clerk, I said, the new fall collection is selling like hotcakes. That means we are selling them very quickly and in a large quantity. So if something is selling like hotcakes, that means everybody is buying them. Number three, hang tight. Hang tight. This means please wait. Please wait patiently. So I told you, hang tight. Let me check the back. Right? So I need to go and check in the back in the storage room and the stock room. So please wait. So please hang tight. Number four, no brainer, no brainer. Now this means something is an easy or obvious choice. It's a very easy decision, very, very obvious choice. So you don't need to think about it. So joining the loyalty program so you can get 10% off, that's a no brainer. And last, number five, in good hands. In good hands. This means that you will be taken care of by someone that you can trust. Someone who you can believe in and someone who is capable. They can do the job. So as the shop clerk, I told you, you know what? You're in good hands. That means you can trust me. I will help you very well. Okay, so those are five idioms. Now, there were more in the conversation that we practiced together, 
And if you have any questions about the other idioms that you heard or any other vocabulary, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Now, in today's lesson, we learn some key phrases, some shopping phrases. Then we practice the conversation and then you got a chance to have a conversation with me while you spoke. Now, redo this, right? The more you practice speaking and making your own sentences, the better you'll get, the easier your shopping will become. And if you're new to this lesson, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. You know, give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. All right. As always, I'll see you all in the next lesson. See ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today we practiced shopping English. We went over some key phrases, you read along with a sample conversation, and then you did a conversation with me. If you liked today's lesson, and if you think it was useful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Till the next lesson. See ya.